Hi there and welcome to Plug and Guru's quickie video number two. My name is John Skippy Lemcool. In this video, we're gonna do something really fun. I'm gonna show you a free plugin that is a mind blower. It's from Native Instruments, it's called the Core Player. But real quickly, before we get to this, this video and all the other videos on the Plugin Guru channel are sponsored by PluginGuru.com, my website, where I sell patches for FM8, for Massive, for Stylus RMX, and I have drum loop libraries called Beatropolis. Go to PluginGuru.com, there's demo banks you can download to get a, a taste of some free patches for those virtual instruments I just mentioned. And there's audio demos there so you can uh, hear what's going on. Also, if you're seeing this on another video channel besides on my website, um, I generally put a longer version of this video on the Plugin Guru website. So make sure you go there and download the longer version. It's also available in 720p high definition video. So you can have full screen so you see it really big. All right, core player. What is this? Why, why am I saying you should download this if you haven't? And there's so many videos talking about this already. So, you know, I don't know if I can bring something new to the table. Maybe everybody knows and everybody has it. I don't think everybody has it. I don't think everybody knows what they can do with this. So let me show you. Core Player in Concept is a single virtual instrument made by Native Instruments that inside has all of their instruments' engines. So you've got Absinthe, you've got Massive, you've got FM8, you've got Reactor, you've got basically the Contact 4, battery, the sample player capabilities, so it can play sample libraries. And then it also has an effect processor side, which is just completely off the hook, what you can do with this. So um, if you go to nativeinstruments.com, it's a free download. There's a 400 megabyte factory library. And um, there's, um, I think they're up to 50 some libraries now. Most of them are $79. Um, and as you can see, if I get over here, there's a free one, which is a compilation which gives you 45 new instruments um, and a whole lot of other things to play with. I'm going to show you in a minute the finger, which is completely mind-blowing. A new one that just came out also called Deep Freak is also mind-blowing. So it's really something you should take a look at if you don't. And uh, if you haven't seen it, let me show it to you. So the layout is this. Core player differs from the virtual instrument versions of FM8, Massive, so forth in that you can't edit. You can't get in there and tweak all the parameters and the envelopes that make up the sounds. However, they do give you eight knobs and eight switches. And these are attached to sometimes, in many cases, more than one parameter. And um, you can change and modimate those to change the patches in, in usually in quite drastic ways, which is very cool. And over here, there's this little XY grid. If you've got the little crosshair turned on, you can go through it like this, and it will change parameters. As you can see on the knobs, they're all changing. Down here is where you change from being an effect processor and seeing the list of effects, which we'll show you in a minute, to the instruments. And the instruments, if we hit first the core player, um, I'll just give you a quick sampling here. Um, here is, um, this is a Absinthe 5. <laughs> Let's go to uh, FM8. Here's a Hiska clavinet. Uh, let's go down to Massive. Here's some, uh, uh, there's one here I played. Exile in Paradise is really pretty. Very nice. So you have those three basic synthesizers, plus you have contact. And they gave you some really great things. There's an, an acoustic bass. Nylon guitar for the... You got that kind of a thing. There's kalimba, uh, some drum kits, which have some cool... All the way across the keyboard. On and on and on. So these are all capabilities in the core player. That's what the factory library is. So if you hit bank, it'll just show you... They give you a little sampling. It's kind of like the libraries for Plugin Guru, where I've got a free demo bank you can download. Same concept. So you can go through and play some of the massive patches and the FM8 transient attacks and you, know, you get some free sounds. This is all free. Awesome. If you change this from uh, keyboard to effects, you are now dealing with 
uh, React, the core player, as an effect processor. Uh, I'm going to play the Plinko kit, which is a techno kit. Right? And I have a sequence in Logic playing it, so I'm going to hit play on Logic for a minute so you can... That's the loop. And I'm going to go to the mixer, and I want to show you how to set up... There's two ways to set this up. One is to use the core player as an insert effect. And it says core player effects. Um, I actually don't suggest doing this, um, especially in this case where I have a drum loop playing and I want to add something to it. You know, we, this is dance. We want to be in your face with everything, right? Everything's got to be, you know, there. So not this way. We have another way. So we're going to keep our core player open. I'm going to go and send it to bus one. And here's my bus one. My stereo output, I want to set it to no output. Because otherwise, if I turn this up, it's going to double the sound because it's going to be coming out the output channel too. The goal is to get a signal that comes outside of this channel. And I'm going to actually set it to pre-fader. Then I go over here. And let's uh, say we're on this. So we're on the effects and we're on deep and dirty, right? So as soon as I hit bus 1 and turn this up, it's going to start to go. So that's the sound of Deep and Dirty. We can automate it. Now I got my drums in there. I'm going to go actually to the full libraries now instead of showing you. They, they gave you five here, the actual deep reconstruction gives you 150. And the standard display doesn't show you, uh, I'm going to right click to uh, make the author go away and I'm going to click again and add rating because I've rated these and I can click rating now and it will group all the high ratings at the top of the list because I went through and I rated some of these so I could show you ahead of time what they can do. So let's turn down the original dry drum loop, and I'm going to play just through some of the presets, and then I'll bring up the, the real drum loop as we're going along. So let's start with this guy. Oh. Combine them, and it's just like, wow. So deep reconstruction for $79 that you just plug in and now it works in this free core player that you got for free. I mean, $79 and you're doing this to your drums. It's disgusting. Deep Freak, check this out. Here's Bennett, this is really cool, I love this. So you can go so many places. It's just nuts. I'm gonna have fun for a minute. I have to apologize ahead of time for this because this is this is this is self-indulgent, but I don't care. I actually have this microphone set up so that I can send it through these effects. Because Duckify Vox is cool. So we got my voice like this. Is that sick or what? <laughs> so you can do more than just drum loops. You could do pads, and you put a pad through these things, and it just it goes all sorts of weird places. It's awesome. Get yourself the core player for free, and get ready to spend some money. Um, with 52 packs that are like $79 and up, um, you can spend a lot of money real quickly getting really cool things to use in your music. But there, you can't get this stuff anywhere else. There's nothing else that will do what I just did in real time while you're playing the notes on the keyboard. I mean, there's just, there's no way you can do this anywhere else. So thank you very much for listening to this Liquiki video. <laughs> um, don't forget to get some sound libraries from my Plugin Guru website, please. And uh, check in soon for uh, Quickie number three. See ya.